Good morning, my name's um, Christian. As you know, this is my third vlog um, about my Winston Churchill Fellowship to go to Australia. So it's the first, third vlog. The first one's talking about an introduction to what exactly I'm hoping to achieve. The second one's an interview with James Yates, who's a SWAS critical care paramedic. And it's about his scope of practice and what he, what he does in his day-to-day -day job. And hopefully we can compare that with what happens in Australasia. Uh, today is my third vlog and um, I'm pretty lucky to actually have uh, Ken Wenman, the Chief Executive for Great Western Air, uh, South Western Ambulance Service here with me today. And we're, we're really, it's a really good opportunity really, not just to talk to Ken in his capacity as a leader for the, for the Trust, but also as a, someone who's advocated the development of the paramedic profession since the outset. Ken was quite instrumental in helping support um, and implement the development of paramedic registration in the UK. So thank you for uh, agreeing to have a chat Good today, pleasure, Ken. Uh, I've, got, I've got a couple of questions, um, and I'm, I'm going to try and keep all these vlogs quite, quite nice and succinct. But it's just really to get a flavour of SWAS attitude to advanced practice and career development pathways post-registration for paramedics and nurses in the UK. So I guess my first one is, um, so Ken, what, what are your thoughts on post-registration career potential for paramedics and nurses within SWAS? Well, it's, um, it, it's a subject that could take quite a long time to discuss, really, but to try and be a bit succinct about it, um, the paramedic profession has come a long way, a long way in terms of the respect that people have for the profession, the interest in the profession. But over the last 15 years, it's really stale when it comes to the development of the profession um, into um, more uh, recognised um, high levels um, of education and status as you get within the medical profession. Um, it's something that was always the intention. There was lots of um, discussion in the early days of permanent registration about where this would go um, and have been registered, how far um, this could be taken, and there was no limits thought of. So we, in this service, and particularly I think in the NHS uh, ambulance sector in the country, would welcome and are welcoming um, a much greater level of um, uh, appreciation for the role of paramedics into the future, um, where actually, you know, there's no limit. Uh, the consultant paramedic is on the horizon, but when I say consultant paramedic, I don't mean someone that's given themselves the title of consultant paramedic. I mean the proper career uh, framework for it. Excellent. Oh, thank you. So it seems like SWAS quite keen to embrace the idea of not just advanced practice, but more the career journey for post-registration paramedics. So when you join a profession these days, you don't just join to become a paramedic and that's the end point it's about actually there's an opportunity to well the sky's the limit in terms of where you can yeah. go depending yeah. on yeah. the background Brilliant. so just out of interest then, so i'm obviously going to australasia as part of my fellowship to work with and learn from the paramedic led critical care teams out there so if you're going in my place what would you be quite interested in seeing what are your well i'm jealous for start <laughs> really jealous um well, I think the, what I'd like to, what we should be doing is learning from um, other parts of the world. What have they done? Um, how much further advanced, if at all, are they um, in this particular area? Um, it's funny because in England we often do feel that the um, paramedic came from other parts of the world. It comes from America. They're doing things that are a lot better than us. But when you really drill down into it, they're not. Um, and certainly the governance that sits around a paramedic profession and what we can and can't do in England is much better than what I've seen in um, many other parts of the world. So um, I hope that you bring back with you, if nothing else, a feeling that we're really on the right path, that what yeah. we're doing now, and particularly the work you're involved with, um, is going to get us to um, an end point that um, no other part of the world is at yet. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Ken. That's, that's, so where, where are we going in the future? Not entirely sure, but hopefully we can just take the opportunity to learn from best practice in all parts of the world and use that knowledge to come mm -hmm. and, and develop the UK. So, well, thank you, Ken, for having a quick chat. It's a I pleasure, know you're, you're, a, you're, you're a busy guy, um, but hopefully this will be, I'm actually leaving on Thursday, so I've got a couple of days left, and I'm gonna start off introducing Australasia into the vlogs, which is the whole point of the fellowship. So hopefully next time I, um, I post, I'll be out in Australia and being able to talk to the paramedic teams out there and sharing it with you and hopefully uh, disseminating learning. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you, Ken. Pleasure.